Hi, Mark from Nomad Boat Building. So one of my Instagram followers asked me about clench nailing. Clench nailing is usually used for fastening planks at their laps in small boats and for fastening the frames to small boats. Um, and the beauty of clench nails is they're pretty fast to put in. When you're done, they have a nice smooth finish to them. Uh, unlike rivets where you have little rivets and robes protruding, clench nails are, are flush with the planking. So when it comes down to painting and maintaining the boat, it's a little easier to do. Now, they're not as nice for taking apart. If you need to do some repairs on the boat, uh, that's a different animal. But in terms of getting the boat built quickly, they're quite effective. Clench nailing is a pretty easy thing to do. It takes a little bit of practice. Well, it takes a fair bit of practice to really get speedy at it. But the, the basic principle of it is quite simple. In order to do any clench nailing, you just need a light hammer. And I like to use these automotive dollies for a bucking iron. Of course, you need a pile of clench nails. Now, these are sometimes called clout nails as well. So let's go over to the workbench and I'll show you the basic technique for doing that. So this is a clench nail. And it is basically a cut nail. In one plane, it's parallel sided. And in the other plane, it's actually got a little bit of a wedge shape to it. And when we're using it, we want to make sure that the direction of the clenching happens um, in line with the parallel sided face. So if you're looking at the wedge, it's turning in the same direction that the wedge is showing. If you look at the end of the nail, you'll see that it's more like a chisel shape. Um, basically, the, the thinner profile is what you want to you want it to bend. You don't try to bend it on edge, you're trying to bend it on the face, if that makes any sense. You want to size your nail so that not very much protrudes through your material. So this nail, for instance, would be grossly oversized. Uh, these nails, this is what I'm going to work with. This is probably about right, so um, this is roughly three-quarter inch stock and this is this is a one-inch nail. It's a little on the long side to be honest for clenching, but it's it's what it's the best we got, so we're gonna have to work with it. Uh, the longer it is, the more difficult it makes it to do the to do the clenching job. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clench in line with the grain on this. Um, so I'm going to drive this in with the wedge in line with the grain, which is ideal for um, preventing splitting. And I've pre-drilled some holes. Now I'm going to show you what not to do. Some people will just drive a nail straight through, straight into an iron. And what you get is this nail that's sort of kind of crumpled up on itself and we have no idea what the orientation is and um, it could actually even split the plank because this m nail might be all bundled into a little ball inside. Well, later on we can split this open and we'll have a look at what that looks like. So the other thing you don't want to do is drive it all the way through like so and then flatten it up like that. Uh, the reason being is that this little feather edge, the, the very point of it will often spring back on you, which really doesn't hold very well. What we really want to do is this. So I'm going to drill another pilot hole. I'm going to insert my nail just as before. You put your iron on the plank where the nail's coming through, but you want to leave that hole exposed for the moment. Okay, and we're just going to tap until a little bit of nail is showing through. So there we are. We have just a very small amount of nail. This is about an eighth of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is in the direction I want this to bend, and I'm going to bend it up, is I'm going to put my iron against it. And this is just a uh, an automotive. This is an automotive dolly, and I want to angle it up fairly steeply. And I'm just going to give this a couple of gentle whacks. And so what's happened is my nail is now bending upwards. Now what I want to do is I want to rotate that iron so that now it's leaning on the top of the plank above the nail and that sharp point is resting against the face of the iron. So there's our nail coming through and this is how the iron was. Now I'm going to tip it this way. And I'm going to drive that nail a little bit far harder again. My, my nail head is now practically flush but you can see this is starting to turn. Okay, and I'm going to come to the bottom again. Now I've got a little bit of a hook. Okay. And now this is hooking into itself. Now I want to come in on the back of that bend and 
bear in nice and tight and, and I can finish driving that nail flat. So there we go, and now it's flush. There's the one that we drove in without just putting the iron hard against the, the plank. This is the one we drove all the way through and then bent flat. And then this is the one that we curled over into a hook. What we're looking for is this nail hooking through into the plank, like just like my finger is looking like. So when we're done, it, it would largely be like this, with this surface of the finger being at the surface of the plank and this part being bedded in there. And that's never gonna come out now, that's nice and tight. And this will draw the planking together, whereas this one won't do that very well. That's the basics of it. I'm gonna go and split this open, and we'll have a look at what this first nail looks like. So here we go. So there's, there's our properly clenched nail. And this is our improperly clenched nail. You can see how the body is all starting to kind of bend over to the side, and we don't know what that was going to do. That could easily have that could easily have bent down into there and split that plank open. And this other one's still buried, but it's going to be just straight in there. So that is a textbook example of generally what you want your nail to look like. This could have been bent over a little bit harder, but you're trying to get this done quickly, so that's perfectly acceptable what we have right there. So there we go, that's exactly what we want it to look like when we're done. We're very close to that. That tip could have been bent down a little harder, but nothing wrong with this. This is this is holding nicely. What we don't want is this potentially punching back through the plank, and that can happen if your nail's too long. Well, I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, maybe give me a like or a subscribe. If you'd like to help me make more of these videos, support me down on Patreon. You can find a link down in the hoo-ha there. It's hard to take time out of the workday to devote to video making, but I really do enjoy it. So um, every little bit helps and I really do appreciate your support. So see you over on Patreon.